For years, the idea of a computer virus causing a real-world disaster was relegated to the works of science fiction. But in 2010, that changed. That was when a group of cybersecurity professionals discovered Stuxnet. Stuxnet was a malware worm that attacked Iran's nuclear program. It was the first cyber weapon that could destroy a real-world target. Stuxnet manipulated system software so that human operators thought everything was running fine, while it destroyed uranium enrichment centrifuges. Most shocking of all, Stuxnet was reportedly created by two nation-states, the U.S. and Israel, to attack Iran during a time of peace. We now live in the era of a new arms race, where a malicious piece of code can threaten an untold number of human lives. So what would a widespread cyber attack look like on our own soil? Unfortunately, we have already seen the first hints. In February 2016, the computer network at Hollywood Presbyterian Medical Center in Los Angeles was hacked, preventing the staff from using many devices at the hospital, even in the ER. The facility was so compromised it had to send patients to other hospitals for care. What if that was not an option? There are more than 300 ERs and urgent care centers in California. If they were all attacked at once, roughly 30,000 patients a day would be put into jeopardy in that state alone. We have seen even bigger impacts in foreign countries. In 2015, a cyber attack in Ukraine cut power to more than 200,000 residents for several hours. Imagine if a major U.S. region was left without power, not for several hours, but for several days turning off everything from water filtration systems to aviation safety software. Such a large-scale power outage would severely cripple law enforcement, banking, and numerous other critical and life-saving services. Malware implants can attack computer systems in the simplest of ways. Servers can be forced to record unnecessary data over and over again. This causes all free memory on a server to be used up at an accelerated rate, ultimately leading to a system crash. Military and civilian networks could be brought down this way. In fact, Stuxnet's successor was reportedly designed to accomplish exactly that. Nitro Zeus, a cyber weapon developed by the Defense Department, was created to wreak havoc on an entire country's infrastructure. This weapon could shut down communication systems, power grids, and air defenses, all without the use of bombs or bullets. As with the nuclear arms race, cyber warfare's potential threat to human lives is immense. Despite this, malware as warfare remains a highly secretive practice. There has been very little dialogue or international diplomacy aimed at governing the use of cyber weapons. During the Stuxnet attack, the virus escaped and infected computers worldwide, leaving the blueprint for creating Stuxnet-like cyber weapons available to anyone, anywhere, anytime.